member of his transition team and Republican strategist Sarah Fagan. And Pete, let me begin with you. Did Joe Biden close the deal last night? Yes, he made a, a powerful closing argument because he was focused on the American people. He looked right into the camera, uh, right at us, and told us what he was going to do to make lives better. And the president, characteristically, mocked him for it. Uh, you know, the, the tempo was a little bit slower, but the song was the same. And, uh, you know, I think when they stepped on that stage, President Trump was losing. And as the sun comes up this morning, President Trump is still losing because he did nothing to explain to the American people what he will do to improve his miserable record on dealing with the pandemic, on our divided country, especially over race, or any of the other areas where he just hasn't delivered. Hillary Clinton had a lead coming out of the third debate four years ago. She ended up losing to Donald Trump. What worries you right now? Well, uh, you know, uh, any Democrat, I think, remembers the experience of 2016 and is determined to make sure this time around we turn out every vote. It's why uh, we know that this race is going to be close, especially in these critical swing states. Uh, we're asking everyone to make a plan to vote if you haven't voted already, to vote early if you can, to go to IWillVote.com just to double check your registration, get information uh, about uh, how and where to vote. Uh, make no mistake, uh, even though uh, Joe Biden is leading, it doesn't mean much if we don't actually get there uh, and vote. It's why I've been traveling uh, to swing states and we're gonna uh, make sure that we ask every American who cares about the future, who cares about getting out of this pandemic, who cares about making the economy actually work for us to make their voice heard at the ballot box. The president and his team seem to think they drew some blood on Joe Biden near the end of the debate last night when they were talking about fracking. Joe Biden's plan for a transition out of the oil industry was blood drawn. Look, we have a very simple choice. A president who's going to do something about climate change before uh, it ruins our futures, and that's Joe Biden, or a president who uh, says it's a hoax and won't do anything about it. Uh, Joe Biden acknowledged the reality that America, uh, frankly, for the last 50 years has been evolving in our energy and in the next 30 years will continue to need to do so uh, and move to uh, a eventually a carbon neutral society. Uh, while the president doubled down on the crazy uncle approach, saying that windmills kill all the birds, whatever that means, uh, the choice couldn't be clearer. And with climate, as with the pandemic, a president who doesn't believe in science puts American lives at risk. Pete Buttigieg, thanks for bringing Sarah Fagan. Sarah, the president clearly had a better debate last night, but did he do enough to change the dynamic of this race? Well, two things needed to happen for the president to have a successful night. He needed to do a good job and articulate the choice in this election, and I think he accomplished that, George. On the other hand, he really needed Joe Biden to make a major mistake. I did not see that. I do think we're going to continue to talk about energy. Uh, in the coming days, I think Joe Biden hurt himself in the critical state of Pennsylvania uh, in a close race that could matter. But fundamentally, I don't think this race changed a lot after last night. And so so now 11 days to go. How does the president close the deal? What can he do now? He's not only got to get some undecided votes, he's actually got to take votes away from Joe Biden. Yeah, he does. He actually polls under a generic Republican in many polls. It suggests he has an opportunity. So if he does the following things, he presents this as a choice. The parties could not be more far apart. Uh, the lurch to the left by the Democratic Party on health care, on immigration, on energy, especially energy, which we talked about last night. Most Americans like Donald Trump's policies. Too many of them do not like his style. He cannot make any major gaffes in the next uh, week. He's got to be calm on the trail. He's got to present the choice. And he has to give us a little more substance about what he's going to do in the next four years. Sarah Fagan, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.